Okay, part two, I'm back. Now, brushes. You can't be a makeup artist without brushes, okay? Um, I have 300 brushes. My preferable line is Hakuhodo. It's super, super expensive. Um, however, the Real Techniques by Sam uh, Chapman from the Pixie Woos on YouTube, uh, she developed an incredible brush line that is really economically uh, affordable. It is, it will not break you. Um, in fact, Ulta sells them online um, in the States, I think. I'm not sure where you can get them um, in Europe. But in fact, they're so uh, well priced that you can afford to get more than one of your favorite brushes. So like for instance, I like the Deluxe Creche brush and I have several of these. They're, they're inexpensive to buy. I put, found, um, I put foundation on with them. I, you know, obviously use it for what it was made for, which is in the eyes, but I do, I use concealer. I put on concealer with these, um, and they're a Taclon brush. They're going to last you for a long time. So they're a great investment, but they're inexpensive. So definitely check them out. They're sold at, uh, Ulta again. Okay. Sam, um, real techniques, um, by Samantha Chapman. Okay. So check those out and they don't lose their shape after you clean them. That's why I, I love them too. All right. On to foundation. Now, you're going to want to invest in some liquids, in some creams, and in some powders, okay? If you can afford, it's really smart to invest in something like the Bobbi Brown BBU palette. I like it a lot. One side is her correctors and concealers, okay? Because you're going to need correctors, you're going to need concealers. You don't necessarily need both, but you're going to need them. You're going to find that somebody's skin tone needs to be corrected, and obviously people have dark circles and it needs to be corrected. Um, so one side is her concealers, like I said, oops. And the other side are her cream or stick foundations. They come in a wide variety of colors. I like it. I think this palette is worth the investment. I believe it's around $200, not for certain, but around $200. Powder foundations, um, the reason I love them is because you can also use them for contour and highlight, so they can be a bronzer. Uh, the bigger ones in these Z palettes are NARS. These are not the most economically friendly, so I recommend looking at Yabby. The round ones are the Yabby cosmetic uh, powder foundations. I like the color range a lot more, um, and I think they look beautiful on HD um, in photography, I, I just absolutely love them. And they're a finishing powder. They're, I use them for contour highlight, like I said. So you're going to want to definitely invest in a powder foundation. Now, liquid foundation. My favorite liquid foundation is the HD, H, the Makeup Forever HD liquid foundation. I also like Chanel. Not the most inexpensive products, however. Okay, so this is what I recommend. There's a company called Face Atelier. Face Atelier makes something called the Zero Plus and the Zero Minus. I'm going to demonstrate this for you for just a second. If you invested in some Makeup Forever liquid but you can't afford to get the whole line. I mean, actually, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't even carry the entire line because um, I don't need to, okay? And I'll show you why. Um, if you had a client and you needed to make their uh, liquid foundation darker or lighter because you don't have the color that exactly matches their skin, and, and basically, to be honest with you guys, foundation, you're going to have to mix foundations anyway. Not everybody is going to be... You know, you can't exactly find a person who matches this color, okay? You're going to have to mix foundations almost 98% of the time, okay? Um, but say, for instance, you needed to lighten this color foundation. You take a little bit of the Face Atelier Zero Minus, mix them together, and I'm just going to do it really quickly with my fingers. And you mix this together and you've created an entirely different and lighter foundation color than what it was originally. Okay, hopefully this is picking up, I hope. If you need it to be lighter, put some more in. Lighten it up. Blend it, right? Mix it, mix it, mix it, warm it up, warm it up, warm it up, blend the color together, you have an entirely different color, okay? Now, the same goes for if you need to darken a color. So you have this color that's lighter. Okay, 
face atelier zero plus. The other one, this one zero plus, this one zero minus. Okay. Take a little bit or whatever, darken it up. And I mean, this is I'm just showing you as an example. I mean, you can take as you can take little bits amounts of these to tweak the color just a little bit at a time. But I mean, literally, you've just created an entirely different color. Okay, you can use these on liquid foundations. All right, I highly recommend it. Face Atelier, zero plus, zero minus. You can get them online or on their website. Okay. Um, all right, let's move on. Setting powders. A couple of powders that are really great. Rice powder. I get this at Namie's. Inexpensive. I believe it's like five dollars. The RCMA setting powder also inexpensive. About eight dollars for this big one. Um, Purely Cosmetics Diamond Perfect Finish. This is actually a more higher end product, but I recommend it for a starter kit. Um, it's extremely comparable, if not better, to Makeup Forever's HD uh, powder, and I find that you get more product in it, it lasts longer, and it can take you, you know, a long time to, <laughs> to use up all that's in here versus what's in a Makeup Forever uh, component. Okay. Let's talk about um, eyes, lips, and cheeks on part three. I'll be back. Bye.